Hello, hello everyone. Today we have one more great replay on map Langres. The opponents are on the north side as USA we have Zulu and on the south side as Wehrmacht we have Biscay Revolution. They both are very high skilled players, top players. Zulu is number one uh, USA player at the moment. So I hope this will be super crazy game and we will enjoy. Let's go. I'm gonna watch USA in this case because it's like Langres North USA is super hard and I would like to see how Zulu pulls this out and does. Okay, we have Barracks building up as first engineer, second engineer is building up. Revo is building his Wehrmacht quarters as well, nothing special so far. Typical cup order from North Langres, the second engineer is going on the left, plus fuel, then plus 10 muni and trying to capture this left side okay the first unit as usa zulu is building uh, rifle engineer is capping cut off interesting and wehrmacht okay wehrmacht went three pioneers so probably we're gonna see bike because walk will be delayed so much oh we have we have cup walking up walking engineers from Zulu. <laughs> okay. Now he's capturing the plus 10 munipot near his base. Some wires coming up from the Wehrmacht players, interrupted by rifles, forced to go back, taking some HP damage. He's also capturing this middle muni point. And and Revo went for the walks as I see. This walk is very delayed. Oh, MG. Okay, 3PO. MG. Looks interesting. I mean, it's kind of risky, but if you manage to set up MG good and pin the first rifle and force it to retreat, you are getting in a huge lead. And this is happening. The rifle are pinned. But they are out of the MG fire, they are in green cover, so they will recover from the pin super fast. Pioneer is forced to retreat, he's almost half HP, red cover might go down. Okay, so far, so far Revo has no points connected to his base, he's... He's gonna connect this first muni point right now on the third minute of the game. Mm, there was little lag, I see. Okay, we're gonna continue the game. Okay, we have Walk a second unit for the Wehrmacht. Wehrmacht is gaining some map control now. Capturing some points, getting some resources up. We have third unit as USA rifle, so we have two rifle Jeep on the US side. MG set up. Engineer going in the house. This MG will take fire from the back. Jeep on the MG flank. Yeah, this MG will take a lot of damage and we have engine damage on the jeep the walks critted a lot MG going in the house this will be hard to deal for USA we need to repair the jeep but also he has to protect the house now rifle will garrison the house engineer will repair the jeep we have second wall for the Wehrmacht player. This MG is very low HP. It might actually go down. Yeah, this MG, this MG is like probably, this MG is dead. This MG is dead 100%. Focus fire MG. No way that this MG escapes and MG goes down. This is a huge lose for uh, Wehrmacht player. And USA somehow manages to decap and capture the plus 16 muni point. It's very important. 
this point is key point of game winning uh, this walk is also very low HP it's like free veterancy for rifles or even for the jeep and the walk is retreating because it's very low HP it's useless to fight with the unit like this because it's it will die super fast Okay, hey, uh, bunker is coming up on the cutoff forever. Probably this gonna be medic bunker, and we're gonna see defensive dog. And Zulu manages to cut off also this left side point. So this mm, ten plus ten fuel point is kinda useless now for Wehrmacht players. He's not gaining resources from it. This walk is also low HP, rifle goes back in the house. Engineers in green cover will secure this plus 10 muni point, forced to retreat. So, we have force rifle coming up and nades are queued up. But this is, this is good tech since the USA <laughs> has map control, map advantage. It might work. The Revo still did not use the medical kit on this low HP walk. That's interesting. I mean, the bars, the bars would be better call here against this low HP walks instead of nades. Bars will uh, like one shot this walks. The medics in business picking up some troops. So we might see, we might see zombie grand squad super fast. Because there are a lot of casualties. Yes, focus the medics. Yeah, both medics are down, so there won't be free zombie grenade squad yet. The grenades are up. Now I think there will be flank incoming from USA. And he will try to force all these units to retreat. We have tier 2 up. So what we have? Who walk? MG and tier 2 <laughs> Interesting army composition Wehrmacht has We have triage for USA and supplier this building up as well so After finishing it the USA veterancy gain will be a bit faster Jeep harassing this low HP pioneer, forced to retreat, and USA gonna get triple VP cap. Yes, USA gonna get triple victory point. We are losing a sector. Map control is like 65, 35, I think. We have a threat to our victory point. There is some unit building up in the creek barracks. Kampfkraft center is building up as well. The first unit from tier 2 is uh, Puck. Revo has no idea that USA has nades tagged up. So he's aware of tier 3 M8. And he makes Puck as the first unit from creek barracks. Now we will see upcoming then. Uh, upcoming Vet 1 infantry. To heal up this low HP walls. And the flank is getting prepared, the wires and tank traps, something goes down. Uh, maybe it was wires. Germans are seizing territory. The puck is revealed, USA knows that Wehrmacht has puck on the field. This rifle gonna protect this cutoff, but it's not a problem because these points are gonna be connected still. We have second unit and Revo is defensive dog, like as we see. Tier 3 is up for USA player, but I don't know how good call is it because he saw the pack. Uh, I think WSC would be better call here, in my opinion. With this map control lead, WSC and T4 would be much better, I think. And we have Mortar as a second unit from Creek Barracks. Still, still no, 
playing King coming up from the USA. He's he's uh, playing like defensive. Focus fire on the medics. Losing ground out there. And USA manages to get the all three fuels of the map. This rifle is harassing the left side. Yes, and we got the Vet1 infantry for the Axis player. The Volks will get healing from this veterancy. Some nice crits from the player, uh, Flamer. For the Fatherland activated, the German units are now immortal units. And maybe we throw the nade? Yes, there comes the nade. Dodge, Spider Evolution. No damage from the nade because it was dodged. And USA goes strafe. Strafe kills a lot of it. It killed like eight, nine modules of wolves and MGs. Good push, good push. Another rifle coming up from the right side, and the Axis player is forced to retreat. We have uh, oh BRs are popped up for USA player. Nice timing. Focus the medics. The mortar is forced to retreat. The pack might go down. Yeah, this pack will probably go down. One guy goes down, maybe second. Yeah, pack gets the crude. USA has to retreat one rifle because it's very low HP. The medic goes down. USA is getting the cutoff. Very nice push. Very nice push. The mortar shots and pins the rifle. Rifle is forced to retreat because it's low HP. USA gets the cutoff. So uh, right now, Wehrmacht player is out of fuel income. And the jeep killed the pioneer squad. This medic bunker is on 50%. We need two more uh, dead soldiers. I mean, <laughs> uh, to get zombie grand squad. That was nice push. Nice push, but the nade reveal, nade reveal was kind of bad because it didn't work. Focus fire on medic and the pack. Pack kills the jeep, Zulu upgrades, demo charges, demo charge getting uh, getting placed on the medic bunker, it will be placed successfully. Yes, retreat flamer, another strafe coming on the uh, double wolf on the red cover, unfortunately nobody dies, only two guys and demo destroys the medic bunker. And what we have here? Zulu has 5 rifles, Zulu went 5 rivals, he has tier 3 just in case, if there is upcoming Puma, he will just launch the AT gun, bet 1 for the rifles, here comes the push, Wehrmacht player is forced to retreat, the pack is going back as well, the mortal will, will be forced to go back as well, yeah we have one more full retreat for Wehrmacht player, second unit building up in the creek barracks, nice nice push from the Zulu, Getting this plus 10 muni point, getting the cutoff. The mine sweeper detects the mine on the crossroad. Also, the pioneer is decapping the plus 16 muni point and he will try to capture it. The mine is diffused. Uh, reinforcements are on its way. Three rifles, flamer. Nice shot of the mortar. This rifle goes 1 HP, has to retreat. The rifle is going to decap this plus 10 fuel point. Flamer, oh nice mortar. Flamer upgraded uh, for the revolution. We have Grand Squad from Krug Barracks. And Zulu makes a mate. A mate because there is a lot of infantry stuff on the field with wet one. He needs a mate to deal with it. Zulu still has the huge map lead, huge resource lead. And this point is like key point of playing the air dog because you need like plus 16 muni income to use this dog properly because it's very expensive. MG shooting on the house, weird rifle in the house, mortar also on the house. This mortar will do enormous damage to this, yep, two guys go down, this rifle is forced to retreat, 
Little Flame coming in. Plus 16 Muni points secured for USA player. Little push on the mid VP. These grains are taking a lot of damage. Are forced to retreat. Zulu Zulu might go for triple VP cap again. SMG is doing job. We have second bunker upcoming for Wehrmacht player. Probably again medic bunker. Uh, to reinforce and get some zombie grand squads. This rifle is trying to flank. Yep, Zulu is going for triple VP cap again. This M8 on the left side trying to secure this area. Nothing upgrading for US still. Probably the player one upgrade <coughs> would be nice, I think. For gaining veterancy faster and making your upkeep better. Claimer on the house will do enormous damage. Yeah, the rifle is out of the house. And USA gets the uh, triple VP cap. Claimer in the house. Wolf is going to capture the mid plus 10 immunity point. Zulu has plus 59 Muni income and Wehrmacht player has only 21 by this time. This is huge difference. USA player is getting 3 times more Muni per minute than Wehrmacht player. That's huge. MG setting up to stop this flanking rifle. And we have push coming on the cutoff. There will be another demo charge placed on the bunker, I think. Yep, demos are planting up. And the mortar goes down. Uh, Zul almost... We have one more rifle. We have six rifles for USA player. Another for the puzzle and activated. Focusing uh, the medic. The bunker will be detonated right now. And the bunker goes down after demo charges. And we have T4 coming up for Wehrmacht player. Wow. With one fuel. Revo is, is taking the risk. And going for T4. That's kind of risky and ballsy move. I don't know why there are six rifles. I really don't know. But let's see. It's, it's too much. And made finally in business doing some job. A bit quiet on the field, the boss players in the bases, healing up, reinforcing, getting prepared for the new battles. Revo is capturing the VP point. USA right now has huge VP lead, about 100 VPs and increasing it. Okay, tier 4 is up. Probably there will be Night Cross, the first unit. Night Cross, or here. Oh, and we have Strafe coming up. Nice Strafe. And we have huge flank incoming. The Wehrmacht player is forced to retreat again. Full retreat again and again. Every time the Zulu pushes, the Wehrmacht player can't protect himself and he has to full retreat. Even for the Fatherland, can't help him to stay on the front lines and fight it. Now Zulu is pushing for the base in the green cover. Nade coming, focus fire the MG, this MG might go down. Yeah, this MG will be the crude, I think. Nope. Nope, nope. The MG survives. The USA is forced to retreat. But we have still a lot of units on the field. The map... The map control is like 95% for USA side. And we have Ostwin as the first unit from tier 4. Ostwin is a good counter for a mage, for rifle. That was good penetration from a mate. A mate running out to save his ass. Ostwin on the chase. We have AT dropped. We have stickies upgrading. And second AT is done from the tier 3. 
This rifle is forced to retreat as well. The M8 requires repairs. So we have two NG6 rifles, double AT, one M8. Interesting army composition for USA. And after this full retreat, the Wehrmacht has a little opportunity to capture some points. Get some resources back. We're losing a strategic sector. M8 going to protect this plus 16. Double rifles also upcoming. AT is rotating to the mid side to stop the upcoming Ostwind. This walk is forced to retreat. The pack has to go back as well because it can't fight the rifles. We have a uh, little flank on the right side as well. We have vet to rifle already on the field. And the pack might go down. Focus fire. The pack survives with very low HP. This pack is going back to reinforce. Okay, Zulu recaptured this plus 16 muni point, which is very important for him. The ATs, the ATs are shooting on the infantry. MG pinning the double rifle. AT is going forward to catch the Austrian. And we have and we have Knight Cross as a second unit. We have Strafe on the red cover. And again, man. None of the squads goes down. Only only model kills. This is unfortunate. Strafe on the red cover should deal more damage. Puck destroying the hedges. Zulu has uh, captured the all three fuel points again. Going for supplier to upgrade to lower the upkeep cost and improve the manpower income. This rifle might go down. No, this rifle survives. M8 fighting the infantry. We have upcoming pack on the M8. One shot goes away. The second is dodged. The ATs are covering the M8. So Ostwin can't push in. Walk. Trying to recapture the MG, but there is the vet to rifle, which is uh, refusing them to do that. Uh, AT misses on the Ostwind, which is very unfortunate. We have push from USA coming up. Triple rifle on the push. This pack might go down. The walks are getting wrecked. Retreat. The pack will go down. Focus. Yeah, the pack goes down. The Ostwind getting repaired. Move forward the ATs. M8 coming in as well. Night cross to save the day, pushing the double wet one rifles. Focus fire the night cross and you will win this fight. A mate to back up his rifles. The night cross is very low. One guy goes down, he's forced to retreat. USA captured the MG, but the Austrian direct shot on the MG kills the whole MG squad and goes down. MG, MG is secured for Wehrmacht player so far. The Gran nearby. The M M8 does some damage, HP damage to Gran. Uh, Pioneers capturing the plus 10 muni point. Austin trying uh, to destroy these green cover edges. Green hedges. Uh, M8 is repaired to full HP. Okay, so Zulu is reinforcing his unit. Supplier to upgrade it. We have 280 manpower income per minute to 77 going down because the re rifles are reinforcing. And we have one more AT coming up for USA. Not sure that triple AT is good against one Ostwind. Maybe T4 would be better call here. Uh, Knight cross to capture this right bottom uh, fuel. But M8 comes here to save this point. Knight cross will be forced to go back. Uh, what did we lose? We lost the AT goes down. MG, MG recovered from the walk. And the pack destroys the M8. There was pack abuse. What a shame. What a shame. And Strafe coming in. And again. Only two guys die. Unfortunate. You have third AT up on the field. 
There is little push from rifles to kill this pack. The medic bunker cancels. Night cross coming in to flank the rifles. Enemy unit down. The pack gets the crude nade on the wall, gives some HP damage. One guy goes down. The night cross in the rifle, focus fire, but survives. Nobody goes down. There is four rifles to a tease. For the Fatherland activated, we have Vetu rifle for Zulu. MG set up the rifles. The rifles will be pinned. The Austin is also doing the job. 14 kills already. Night cross pushing with the for the Fatherland, but one guy goes down. The rifle might go down. Austin decrews the AT gun. Some little push from Wormacht player with the for the long for the Fatherland. Nade is <coughs> thrown by uh, rifles. Wet rifle is forced to retreat. This night cross is very low HP. Might go down. Focus fire the night cross. Uh, the rifles are pinned and forced to retreat. AT on the Austrian. This AT will be decrewed as well. This night cross is very low HP. Oh my god. This is huge losses for USA player. This is huge losses. The. Uh, USA AT captured by Wehrmacht player to deny USA from the anti-tank unit the second AT is captured as well the third okay so uh, right now Wehrmacht player has three ATs AT trying to kill the Austrian but Austrian took so takes only one shot and uh, so we have do we have supply drop and the rifle pick up mortar? Maybe for smoke to stop the MG pinning. This knight crosses back to full HP and capturing mid VP. Not fully not fully reinforced rifles. This is not good. This is not good. Yeah, USA has a huge map control, but somehow Wehrmacht is still in game. <coughs> I think I would I would sacrifice I would sacrifice these two rifles unwetted rifles for better upkeep and getting T4 or even snipers even snipers could be good here since there are a lot of low HP infantry yeah and we have T4 coming up I don't like this call because Wehrmacht player has 3 AT guns and 3 AT guns will one shot any tank from USA T4. USA trying to get triple VP cap again. Yeah, that's that's his only hope to win the game right now. The VP lead. And USA has triple VP cap. The VP lead is like 250, almost 250. We have bunker coming up for Wehrmacht player. We're losing ground out there. Still, still no vet two for Wehrmacht infantry. We have, we have crocodile. Coming up for USA player and we have unlocked bombing run. Probably we're gonna see bombing run very soon. Smoke on the mid area to stop MG pinning the USA rifles. Okay. Zulu is trying to push from the right side. We have double knight cross on the mid. Munitions point under attack. Hellcat is out from T4. Knight cross is forced to go back because they are taking a lot of HP damage. They are almost half HP. The rifle is forced to go back. Austin to secure the plus and fuel point. MG shooting on the mid. Uh, this wet rifle is forced to retreat. We have double knight cross push on the wet one uh, rifle. 
some body block going on. The knight, knight cross forced to retreat the rifle and going back now. The Wehrmacht player will finally secure this plus 16 uh, muni point. We have Hellcat pushing for the Ostwind. And the AT. This Hellcat might go down. Look, this damage. And the Hellcat saves. Ah. The Hellcat somehow survives. We have Rifle fighting the Night Cross, getting Wet 1. I mean, Rifle with 1 kill and Wet 1. This, I mean, Night Cross is giving away a lot of XP. And we have Wet 2 for the German infantry upgraded. We have second Hellcat for USA. We have two tank destroyers against triple packs. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Bro, sacrifice this unvetted rifle. MG doing job. We have wet two infantry supports as well for the MG and pioneers. That's interesting. We have wet to rifle fighting on the long range wet to walk. Closing the gap. Now the rifles should win this fight. We have MP40s upgraded on the walks retreating. MG pinning these two rifles on the mid. Night cross nearby. Medical kit kit used. This night cross is nearby to flank the AT and decrew it. Zulu is uh, trying to capture this plus 10 fuel. We have more supplier uh, supply drops. The USA gonna have almost 600 munis. It's like two bombing runs and a strafe. We have Hellcat push on the right side. Uh, we have bombing run incoming. Bombing run on the AT. AT gets the crew, the Hellcats on the Ostwind chasing it. The Ostwind will go down, the Ostwind gets destroyed. M10s with 70% HP killed the Ostwind now going back and the double pack one shot the Hellcat. And the second Hellcat will go down as well. This is bad trade for USA player. We have another wet rifle for Zulu. That was friendly fire. Mortar rifles focusing the medics for the Fatherland popped out again. The night cross chasing the rifles. These rifles have to go back. We have upcoming night cross from the left side. The AT has to go down. Has to go back. We have pushing night cross and the flamer. But here comes the wet one and wet two rifles to save the day. Forcing the night crosses to go back. But one night cross tries to fight these rifles and taking a lot of HP damage. MG backing up the night cross. We have push from night cross and the flamer coming in. But this vet two rifles, not a joke. They are doing the fucking job. Yes, baby. Vet two rifle, not a joke. Okay, another Hellcat is queued up for USA player. I don't know why. There is no tank in Wehrmacht army composition. There are only uh, packs and infantry. And I'm not sure that Hellcat is a good counter to packs. We have HMG taken by rifles from supply drop. This mortar does a lot of damage to it. We have engineer loss, as you say. The mortar kills. We have another bombing run. Oh my god. Okay, this was good. Good bombing run. The pack gets destroyed. 
the mortar gets the crew the mg has to go back nope i missed <clears throat> almost nothing dies from the bombing run bad two rifles getting chased by night cross and the flamer <coughs> hellcat hellcat joining the party but there are the double packs this hellcat will go down yep this hellcat is dead nope the AT missed and the hellcat survives we have flamer and walk pushing the rifle in the house we have bad three rifles ladies and gentlemen bad three rifle on the field but right now Wehrmacht player has got enormous map lead he has both fields he has plus 16 muni night cross pushing in the rifle has to go back the AT has to go back this night cross will not be enough to stop the night cross the rifle is chasing the AT on the right gets the crew flamer and the night cross to fight this uh, rifle rifle in the green cover and Revo is staying safe because he has to cross red cover and he really doesn't want to fight the vet rifle on the red cover but now he still decides to go in and tries the red cover bonus yeah the rifle fucked up enemy has 100 points and counting down Okay. The mortar goes down. We have another V3 rifle for USA. There is huge VP lead. That's the only option of winning this game. Like 90 VPs left for Wehrmacht players. Here, this is this fight is good for USA because there is V2 and V3 rifle on the field. Nate. For the Fartland activated, this battery rifle focus fire on the Night Cross. Night Cross is getting wrecked. He has to retreat. <coughs> this walls will be uh, destroyed as well. We have another nade from the rifle. The walk has to go back. Okay, Wehrmacht player is now in the trouble because there are a lot of V3 and V2 rifles on the field. And V3 rifle will always win. Another for the puddle and activated for Wehrmacht player. Grenade on the V3 rifle. Huge damage. Huge damage. And V3 rifle almost gets nuked. But it dropped the BR. That's sad. We have Strafe coming up on the mid. Nobody dies. Only pin on walk squad. HMG getting set up. Wehrmacht is trying to uh, capture the mid VP. <coughs> MG pinning the MG and the rifle. Night cross the cross the MG rifle is forced to retreat. Wehrmacht is gaining mid VP. We have bad rifle coming up to fight these grants. And we have we have one more battery rifle on the field. We have Three wet three rifle and Wehrmacht, uh, Wehrmacht secures the USA H HMG. So now the Wehrmacht player has double MG against six rifle play. We have Crocodile coming up next for USA. I don't know why Zulu is keeping making uh, T4 units when there is three packs for Wehrmacht player. Just Snipers better call, I think. <clears throat> uh, Revo is moving up his uh, AT guns because he knows there is Hellcat on the field. He wants to back up his infantry units. Uh, Zulu, this battery rifle is kind of going for this VP cap, I think, because. The VP is only winning condition right now for Zulu. This is the only win condition. MG suppressing the <coughs> rifle. Rifle has to retreat. We have double MG on the field. Walk has to go down. The rifle getting pinned. 
it has to go down as well triple rifle on the mid getting pinned one with one mg shot crocodile pushing in we have wet three rifle on the left pushing this mortar this mortal will have to go uh back wet three rifles going for vp cap the crocodile pushing in we have at shooting the crocodile double at against crocodile this crocodile will go down we have faust by the night cross on the croc croc is 20 hp and the engine damage this croc is dead we have hellcat pushing in hellcat trying to crash the night cross and the crocodile goes down uh the zulu is capturing the bp but no there is mortar shooting it he has to force retreat there is still huge bp lead Night cross chasing this battery rifles to kill them. They are very low HP. They might go down, but they survive with one percent HP. Flamer coming up on the mid to stop the night cross. Rifles are getting reinforced. We have more supply drops. The flamer getting pinned. The old Zulu does have now with rifles. I mean vetted, but only rifles. Ah, uh, look this German army composition, man. 2 MG, 2 Night Cross, 3 Grands with wet 3, 3 ATs. Like, USA needs, USA needs at least 2 snipers here. Enemy unit down. Strafe on the German infantry. Pinning infantry MG gets the crude. We have USA HMG on the mid. Zulu is pushing the right side. We'll try to get the uh, cut off the vet to rifle on the HMG. The other rifle focus fire the medic, killing it. We have vet 3 infantry support as well. Vet 3 MGs. This, this rifle might go down. We have another vet 3 rifle by the nade. For the Fatherland activated, the rifles focus fire on the Flamer, Flamer survives, switching fire, nope, he has to retreat, there are a lot of, there is a lot of Wehrmacht vetted infantry, so USA can't do anything with the rifles only, and we have second crocodile coming up next, I don't know man, why there is no double USC and sniper, we need sniper here. To counter this walk, Grand MG play and Pug play, and the rifles will take care of the Vetri Night Cross. We just need snipers to counter the MGs and the vetted rifles. The Vetri rifles, we do everything else. Vetri Nade. This was dodged, but somehow he still killed. And we have wet three rifle pushing in, the crewing, the pack and the mortar. Knight cross to save the day, pushing back the rifles. We have strafe for the fatherland activated. This knight cross is out of the pin. The rifle is forced to retreat, and USA player is losing whole map. He's losing everything, and the wet three rifle goes down. Red 3 rifle goes down, MG suppressing the USA infantry, there is double grey knight cross pushing in uh, the red 3 rifle and red 3 rifle just nukes the knight cross. There is little push coming up from the USA player. Flamer trying to capture the mid VP. This wet three rifles are pushing in. This MG will go down. The for the Fatherland activated. Crocodile is out. Nice crit on the rifles. This rifle is forced to retreat. This wet three rifle will fight them. Maybe some juicy nade coming in. This was grenade dodged by USA. We have USA nade coming in and this will nuke everything and nope. Only one guy goes down. Bad.
But three rifle in the house, he will he will beat this knight cross. Crocodile to save mid mid VP. We have another Oz twinned out for a Wehrmacht player. The pack shooting on the uh, crocodile. Crocodile forces the Wolk to go back. This battery rifle might go down. Get out of the house and retreat. Yes, baby. USA is trying to capture the mid VP again. Let's see how it works. The Austrian is fighting the rifle next to it. Now the fire is switched to the mid VP. Okay, the mid VP will be secured for USA for a while. But the map lead is now in Revo favor. Okay, we have Hellcat queued up for USA. The mid VP is decapped by Wehrmacht player and now will be captured by... <laughs> Wolks. Uh, the rifles are getting reinforced fully. The crocodile is getting repaired as well. There is Austin pushing in. Nice HP damage on the battery rifles. This is overextended those twin, it might go down and we have defensive 200mm barrage incoming on the supplier and only barracks getting destroyed. Elkett shutting the old twin, nice damage on it, we have rifles pushing in. We have Crocodile also pushing in, the uh, Wehrmacht Pioneer is harvesting the tank ranks. We have double AT shot on the Crocodile, this Croc might decrew this AT, we have Hellcat pushing in as well. And the main gun destroyed for the Hellcat, the USA is forced to make full retreat. We have a lot of infantry here for Wehrmacht and I think this is the game, there is no hope for USA right now. GG. Well played boys, nice game. But I think T4 was mistake. I think it's my opinion. Zulu did well, he played super good, but yeah, T4 was like, I don't know. He was able to make T4 earlier, before the Wehrmacht got triple pack, but I don't know. I think WSC would be much better in this situation. I mean, the veteran rifles could stop the Night Cross, and snipers would keep the decruing the MGs and ATs. So, double sniper. Double sniper and after double sniper making Hellcats would be much better in my opinion, I think. GG. Well played, boys. Nice game. I hope you enjoy the cast. I hope you like the reply, replay. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe my channel, follow me on the Twitch. I stream almost every day. There will be more upcoming videos. I am also uploading my own replies when i get a good opponent and play a good game so enjoy it see you lights have a nice day